Oh, let's see if we can build a combo on this. Here we go. Take it down. Oh, yeah. We're going to go over some of the best things to do in the Calagula chapter of Tales of Arise, and we're going to start right now. If this is your first time here and you want to know more about JRPGs, Nintendo games, Monster Hunter games, and much more, blazing sword that likes the subscribe button. Let's get into it. When playing this game, make sure you check every nook and cranny. When you press the square button, you can check all the areas to go in. Like if I go the way I'm not supposed to go, I found an item. Thank you. And it shows up on the map. And we come across our first enemy. When you first enter battles, they talk about attacks, arts, and evading. Let's talk about combos. This talks about diminishing returns if you use the same art too often. What they say is, during a combo, if the same art is used multiple times within four actions, its penetration will decrease and enemies will recover from it sooner. Continually doing so will raise these penalties, making arts half as effective as their harshest. So I'll show you my beginning combo. One, two, three, four, swallow blade, go up in the air. One, two, three, four, mirage. And you can beat this guy up. Just make sure you hold down the, the L1 button. Use the left stick to target their crystal in the back. Just avoid attacks. Just hit that crystal. Make sure you go a little off the path to find this blue treasure chest. It has three life bottles. These are really important for your playthrough. Make sure you check every part of the map because you'll find an herb such as a sage that permanently increases your HP. To continue a combo when you're fighting enemies, make sure you continue to hit them until you see the break symbol. When you see the yellow word break, you can use Rising Wyvern to hit the enemy up in the air and continue your combo. On this spot in the Sandus Ravine, you can find one of the secret owls that strangely sounds human. They give you interesting accessories. If you come across this Zoogle, don't bother fighting it. It's level 40 something. Mmm, right. If you're around town, you'll actually find another owl. If you go to the house in the far east, the one where Zephyr's hanging out, if you listen closely, you'll hear an owl. There it is. You climb up. One. Two ladders. We'll catch an owl with bunny ears. Boost attacks are really important in the battle mechanics of this game. You can summon allies in Comet to use their unique boost attacks. Once the boost gauge, or BG, is full, press the coordinating directional button to execute. These moves can be followed up with more attacks afterward and also restore AG when used, which means you can use more arts to extend that combo. Although boost gauge builds up automatically over time, it can be filled up faster by landing attacks and counter edges on enemies as well. Iron Mask boost attack is the Iron Blade. It initiates a brute force swing that can down almost any enemy. You can use it to get allies out of trouble and create openings for combos. Shion's boost attack is called the Wing Clip. It fires numerous beams of light from the muzzle of the Shion's rifle. Effective on aerial enemies, it temporarily restricts their flight abilities and downs them. On the south side of the map in the Iglia Wastes, you'll come across some vines. Just go ahead and climb them. Continue south on the path and you found an owl with what looks like cat ears. Spotted cat ears. On the southeast side of the Kurd Garrison map, you can find an owl right here. Gives you a cat tail. When you're in the south side of the Mosgul map, head in this direction and just turn around a little bit. You can see one more owl. Gives you a monocle. When you reach the Trench of Flames Castle Gates, in that building you can find an owl waiting for you. It has dog ears. When you continue your path, the Gates of Fire. If you look over to the left over here, you'll find an owl waiting for you with an eye patch, a left bandage. On the east side of the map, you'll find this door. Keep this door in mind, you'll come back here later. Later on, you'll be able to get to use that blazing sword again. Now your boost attack turns into Burning Wave. Initiates a searing swing attack that burns Iron Mask's body. Able to down almost any enemy, it has a wide range and gains additional strength the more HP is sacrificed. To unleash the blazing sword, you have to activate an art. Hold down the button of said art, and then you'll initiate a sequence that you can start draining your own health. The more health you drain, the stronger the blazing sword is going to be. That flaming age we talked about has an added bonus effect to those downed enemies. Now for what we've all been waiting for. Boost Strikes. Boost Strikes are one-hit kill attacks performed in tandem with other allies. When you see the word go. strike on an enemy, press the directional pad to use it immediately. Boost Strikes occur more frequently with lower enemy HP and higher combo counters. So that diamond in the middle of that enemy, we're going to try to fill it up with a blue gauge by constantly keeping a combo up. Right. 
and then just hit the strike and down that simple so now that this boost strike is unlocked this is how you should be taking down your enemies so far i'm on floor two on the south side of the map when you see gold chests like this they have something really important for you this one in particular is bone fragment armor for the iron mask on the third floor of Vladimir Castle, just west of the elevator, next to the clothesline, you'll see some chickens. Amongst those chickens, you'll see an owl as a rabbit tail. On the fourth floor, you come across Toxadillo. He's a level 13 Zoogle and has a weak spot, which is his tail. If you break that weak point, the enemy will be down and you can get a lot of good hits in. When it turns blue like this, you can't down them. Get down to zero. Gonna do a strike move and it's gone. And then you get an Astral Flower. Astral Flowers are a magic flower that grants the owner plus 10 to CP, so you can cure more. And you can obtain Astral Flowers by finding powerful foes. Remember this guy? The Gigant Zoogle? This giant Zoogle roams around certain areas. They're very hard to fight, but you can get rare items and lots of SP if you manage to beat Once you reach this area, beat them. Of the dungeon, go ahead and hit the map button, display a map list, and head to Ulzebek. Go inside the inn and talk to the blacksmith. If you went all through the dungeon, you should be able to find the Astral Crystal Grain, and they'll have two of them. This would allow you to upgrade to the Crude Sword and the Basic Rifle for Shion. Now you're even more prepared to fight Balsef. Hit the map button, display a map list, Glanymede Castle, first floor, and head over to the elevator. Fourth floor, and now we're ready to go. Be sure to save. Figured. Time to introduce ourselves. So in the Balsa fight, they really want you to avoid attacks. Not like that. Or that. When he goes in the air, he... Use the boost attack like this. He goes down. So we're halfway done. Yeah, just avoid the fire avatar. Best you can. Okay, just take him down. If he uses his attack, stay behind him, and he'll you'll do just fine. Because his attack doesn't attack behind him. So to make sure you're staying behind him when you do these attacks, just in case. In a video right here, if you want to know more about how to break games. Thanks for watching another Pokeboogie video. Stay healthy, stay strong. Catch you next time.